Sup guys, it's David Praise, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to translate an image using OpenCV. So what is translation? Translation is simply just moving the image pixels either horizontally on the X direction or vertically on the Y direction. And for this process to be possible using OpenCV, all that is required of us is to define a two by three I'll find transformation matrix. So first we have, you know, one zero and this TX and TY parameter over here. Those are the only things that we care about when we want to shift our image either horizontally or vertically. So if we have like a negative value of TX, what's going to happen is that it's going to shift the image to the left side. And if we have a positive value of TX, it's going to shift the image to the right side horizontally and if we have like a negative value of ty what's going to do is that it's just going to shift the image upwards and a positive value of ty is just going to shift the image downwards so let's get started coding so first just you know open a new python script called opencv translation py so now that we already have our boilerplate already, so we have like NumPy, Arc Parser, and OpenCV already imported. Next, we just, you know, initialize our argument parser, which lets us automatically pass in input or data via the command line. And over here, we just, you know, read the input and just displayed it to our screen. So basically the input is an image, a path to the image, which once loads it using cvt.mread and then displays it to our screen and wait for a key to be pressed. So let's actually run that and to make sure that everything's working. Okay, now we have our image already loaded. So next, what we need to do is to grab the height and the width of our image. So in order to do that, all we just need to specify is just, you know, the height and the width and image.shape and index using like index and slicing, just take the first two values because if we get the results from image or shape, what we're gonna get is a tuple of three values, which contains the height, the width, and as well, the number of channels. So we have like three channels on this image since it's an RGB image. So next, in order to translate our image, we first need to define the alpha and transformation matrix that we talked about earlier in today's tutorial. So which is just mp.float of what? of 32 bits and then we you know define an array so we have one zero and how many pixels do we want to shift it to the x axis or the horizontal axis so let's say 150 pixels um to the right like my own right and then zero and one and then let's say 50 pixels downwards so now in order to translate an image all that is required of us is to call the WAP I find transform from OpenCV. So let's do that. Shifted equals cv wap I find. So first it requires the source, which is the original image that we imported. Then M, which is our I find transformation matrix. And as well as the D size, dimension size. So that's basically the width and the height of our image. Now, if we just visualize, you know, let's say shifted one that's like the first shift that we're going to perform and just you know call the wait key run it again so now you could see that our image has been shifted 150 pixels towards my right and then 50 pixels downwards as you can see that we specified of that over here now that you've seen that we shift the image towards the right and downwards what about if we want to shift it towards the left this time and upwards the pixels values. So all we just need to do is, you know, do the same thing. We need to find our alpha and transformation matrix, then call in the shifted. So cvt.wap find pass in the image, our transformation matrix, as well as the width and height of our image. And before we go ahead visualizing it, we need to modify this, the TX and the TY value. 
So over here, as we mentioned that we want to shift our image 150 pixels towards the left. So we need to specify a negative value over here. And now to shift our image upwards, we need to specify negative value. So negative 50. So this whole operation, if we just, you know, visualize this, I'm just going to use this part again, shift it to. So I'm going to call this shift it to shift it to over here and just run the script again. And now in the second shift, which we just implemented recently, we shifted our image 150 pixels to the left. That's why you could see this part is missing and then 50 pixels upwards. That's why you see that it's been shifted upwards. So it's basically just the opposite of everything that we've performed on our first shift. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you also want to take a look at the text for this tutorial, you can as well visit the blog post, which you can see right now at www.neurospike.com. And here you find also the code snippets and, and everything you need to get started translating images using OpenCV. As usual, I don't intend on making this video too long. And if you found this video beneficial, be sure to leave a like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also turn on all notifications so that you get an update on when next I post. I will appreciate that. Thank you.